What's up guys, it's me Jax and in today's video I will be telling you how to download and play Minecraft in VR. As you guys can see, we are literally in Minecraft but in VR. It's I don't know how you can't tell if this is Minecraft or not. But as you guys can see, I'm in the creative mode and I can select any block I want. This is my big old house that I built on the pier. And you can literally go fishing, man. I mean, what? Now before we get into the tutorial, I thought I would say something. This kind of matters on what console you play Minecraft on. Like for an example, I play on Xbox One, so I'm playing on Bedrock, and as you can see right here, I have a time limit. But if you play on Java, which is PC, you will not have a time limit. And that's because it's technically a port to Minecraft, but on VR, and it's made from, I guess, no, I guess it's made by PC. PC. So if you play on Xbox One or something like that, PS5, you will have a 1 hour and 30 minute time limit to play Minecraft on VR but remember if you are on Java you will not have a time limit and you can play as long as you want and by the way guys there is not a bypass to this so hopefully you can just get a PC later on but without further ado let's get straight into the tutorial now if you haven't already go to my most recent video and it should tell you how to download SideQuest and if you've already downloaded and logged in to SideQuest here is what you do first things first is that you actually want to open SideQuest you will see that we have a giant selection of games to choose from but we do not want any of these games instead you want to scroll down until you see Questcraft or you can head over here to the search bar and search it out by itself by searching up Q-U-E-S-T-C-R-A-F-T. And then the first thing that pops up should be Questcraft. You will know it's Questcraft if it says Questcraft itself and it also has like an Oculus Minecraft type of logo. But then you want to click that. Once you've clicked that, you want to click Sideload Now. I would not be doing it because I already have it downloaded. But if it ends up asking you to switch your setting to on or something that's just asking for your data, just do it. It's not going to put a virus on your headset or anything. And then you should have a pop-up that says Install. Just click Install. And if everything goes right, there should be a bar down here that says everything went successfully. And after that happens, you want to head over to your games menu. Once you're in your games menu, you want to go down over here until you see unknown sources. It should be this little folder over here with a question mark on it. You want to click that, and then you should see Questcraft. Once you see Questcraft, all you want to do is click on it. It should say Questcraft pojlib.vivecraft, I think. Now, I am already signed in, but in order to do this video, I don't know what I'm saying, so I'll just sign out and then sign back in just to tell y'all what to do. So guys, once you are inside of Questcraft, it should look like this. But mainly this big old screen in front of you that says use this website to log in or use this code to log in. And that's essentially what you want to do. So if you're one of the people that like to search up websites on your phone or PC, head over to your browser right now. Then you want to search up that website. You want to log in with your Microsoft account or anything that's like logged into your Minecraft account. Then once you've logged in and you're at the part where you have to enter the code, enter that code right there. By the way guys, I don't think it matters if you use all caps, but I did so I would recommend it I guess. And once you've logged in successfully, that code and website should be gone. And all you should be left with is your version, play, instances, mods, and all of that other junk. But now the main part is you want to click play. Now this part will probably take a while, but basically you just want to wait till all your folders and your data just combine I guess. And once you've clicked play and everything loaded in, you should be at this menu. It should say Minecraft Java Edition, and it should say Play Demo World if you're on like Xbox, PS5, or something like that. But if you're on PC, like Java Edition itself, it should say a whole bunch of stuff about Play, Mods, stuff like that. But if you're on Java Java, like PC, you just want to click Play. But if you're on Bedrock like me, you want to click Play Demo World, and then your world should start loading in. And then once you've done all of that, you want to click Continue Playing, and then boom, you're in Minecraft VR. I am hoping to play this game more often, but as you can see right here, oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's a time limit. I want a PC for Christmas, so hopefully I can start playing this game more often. Because trust me, guys, once you actually start to play it in VR, it's so much more fun. But yeah, guys, that's basically how you play Minecraft in VR. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. Because my videos take a very long time to edit and make, and it would be doing me a huge favor on trying to hit 10k. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.